All right, everybody. So next step here is going to be, I've got the board in, as you can see. Uh, I've got to now try and start wiring up all of these components to the tubes at this side and then everything up to the, the jacks on this side. Um, so the uh, process continues. What I'm going to do is, uh, in just a short minute here, try and show you guys. I get this set up a little differently, a different angle probably with one of the cameras, and have it so I can sit down kind of over here on this side and work on it with the camera kind of over my shoulder on one side and on from the cross view from the other. And hopefully that'll make it a little easier to see what's going on. But uh, I'm now about to start tackling the final few steps here. I've got to wire in my um, last filter capacitor here. Uh, I don't know if that how visible it is, but it's right here and it connects into here. This is also the choke wire that will wire to that as well. And then it's just a matter of, uh, you know, like here's one of the ground lines. These will all be lines that connect to these different parts here. And these cables, or these wires on this side are connecting into the tubes at different points. Once that's all wired up, in theory, I can uh, do a power on test. So we're getting very close. There you have it. All right, so I'm gonna first try and dial in this last little bit here uh, and set up my um, power filtering. Just kind of, all I need to do is connect it to one of these. It doesn't matter which one exactly. So that I have uh, a well connected uh, positive rail. Uh, and, uh, and that'll be good. So I'm trying to get that right now. And then I've got my choke. So the other end of the choke comes into this side right here and then heads on down the, uh, over to the other side. So, um, so I'll need to kind of gauge what I think I'm going to need, not have to fight it too much. So I'll, I'll uh, cut myself plenty of wire loose and then strip back a lot so that I have room to wire it up. Once I've got those both hooked up, I'll solder them in and then kind of clean up. And that'll be power into the board. All right, let's try and get some good solder flow through that. the fan on. All right, I think we got a good solder connection there. So now our main power is in, and it's become going to become a matter of carefully wiring in each of these wires, kind of one at a time, to the right spot. So the um, let's look here. The power tubes, the red wires here go to pin nine so these are the i'm guessing that's a, the screen because it's going to have the dropping resistors so the main power comes from the input or the output transformer the center tap of that is connected to the um the main power and then the either end of those connect into the power tubes on the pins uh seven the jumper to the blue on one side, brown on the other, a pin seven, and then I just jump right over to the next pin seven on each half. So now I just have to get these to pin nine, which is a fairly short run for what I'm doing here. All right, we got that good. We'll just have to basically keep repeating that one at a time. 
And of course the order of these doesn't matter. They're all just getting power equally and being sent in, so. Now for a quick check, if you ever need to know how well these are working, I'm uh, probably not going to continue talking much after this and just get to it, but I wanted to show you. I've just connected a couple of them. Uh, I always go back afterwards anyway. Check continuity. I touch to the leg of this resistor here. Hopefully that's visible. And then I will come over and touch the <laughs> and touch. You can see I'm touching the not the wire itself, but the post of the tube just to make sure it looks like I have good continuity, and I do. So, that means that I have power coming in, they will go across these screen resistors, they're higher wattage ones, and then down and into the tube. So that's two of those down, and I'm just gonna keep the process going. All right, next. That's all four of those. Again, I'm going to double check my continuity on that, those last two. Hmm. Interesting. I'm getting a... Oh, helps if I point to their own. There we go. All right, so we're good. All those are well done. Wired in. So next, I'm gonna go to the, to probably make this a little easier, the grid comes off of, oh no, sorry, the ground comes off of these two, but I have to also run the grounds from, so the grounds come from pin three, so I'm gonna pull from pin three of the outer two in towards the center and then just pull these two down right to those. Uh, the pin threes so so I'm going to actually I've got enough spare with these as is I'm gonna kind of tuck those wires down under that I've got in place now so they're out of the way Now one of the trickiest parts of this looks like to me is going to be keeping my heater wires away from these wires so that they don't touch your arc. So it's a very tight space in there, but what I'll do is probably solder first and then try and trim a little after. Ah, oh, I just did the yellow because I'm, oh. It's the wrong ones. Those are the green grid ones that go to pin two. So, I get to redo that now because I did it on the wrong pins. They're in the right place generally, but they're not ground, they're set to... These are the grid inputs, and I've sent them accidentally to the ground instead. So, this is again, some of the fun of this is making sure you get everything lined up right when you start. Okay, that half is right. Now what I'm gonna do is do my grounds. And since my grounds are over more, what I might do is run this ground to this rightmost one first, and this ground to this rightmost one first, because they're just a little closer. And then uh, now we run the grid on that one as well. <laughs> 